Hey neighbor, it's Ryan from Hippie Witch Heart. Welcome back to another video on my channel. So I know normally we do the brew crew and I have water drop and we're still going to do water drop advent. I still want that sponsorship, but today was a very lazy morning and I needed coffee. I got up, I vlogged a little, which I haven't done in a while. I mean, talking head is different. I haven't like actually vlogged in a minute and it felt nice. I wrote out my goals and things for the new year. Yeah, I'm a week late. I took a week off, who cares? Are you goal planning people? Tell me in the comments if you're a goal planner too. But I'm gonna take another swig of my coffee and we'll get into this. Now that I'm properly dehydrated, let's do brew crew and fix that. Also, did you see this mug? Do you see this? As I expected. I was right all along. Suspected. I can't read, that's why I had coffee. Anyway, hi, if you're new here, you probably don't know about this, welcome. Nice to meet you. If you've been here before, welcome back. It's time for another brew crew. Each week we do a brew before we start our video and we're still finishing the advent calendar from Water Drops. I am determined to get that sponsorship. I also have a $15 off referral code somewhere in the comments for you all if you feel like using it and hydrating yourself. Also, you can support the brew crew at the link below. And if you do that and leave a message, we'll give you a shout out in one of our future videos. So, you know, help us fund this stuff. This one is iced tea. Um, and this is the lemon iced tea? Yeah, lemon iced tea. So green tea with lemon, flavored with other natural flavors, sugar-free, low calorie, vitamin C, and niacin. Which if you watched this video, I learned what niacin is. Also never gonna let that go. The fact that I didn't know what these vitamins were and I was like, that's fine. We'll just see what's up. And it took like five videos for me to actually look it up because I'm what? Lazy. As usual, we're gonna let this sit while we open some other things and we're gonna come back to it at the end for our flavor assessments. I do still have more days in the giant advent calendar though, so let's do that first. Ooh, flavors. Blueberry iced tea. So I've noticed that I'm getting a lot of iced teas in this advent calendar, which is great, because they're my favorite. I really enjoy the iced teas. Um, also, I don't know if any of you follow brands on Instagram. I rarely do. Some, it's mostly like indie dyers and stuff like that, but I started following Water Drop on there. And they're doing like a 10,000 step challenge where if you walk 10,000 steps a day and comment on the thing, they're sending uh, certain people packs of the, uh, the iced tea. So if you like the iced teas, check them out on Instagram. They're linked below, you can find it. Get yourself some free stuff. Everybody loves free stuff. I sure as hell do. While I was filming my vlog earlier, I basically made myself that delicious hazelnut coffee and sat down and wrote out all of my goals and things that I want to accomplish this year and I didn't write one on there because I'm an idiot but the I have a specific notebook that I bought I bought this last year I have a problem where I love planners and I love journals and then I don't use them but this one is undated and I bought it because it's fun and has like you probably can't see it, but they have little numbers across the top. So it's just like you circle the day, uh, the month, and then the day. So they're undated. You can just kind of use it whenever. And I really like that. But this one, I bought two of them. One was like a soft, um, not velvet or velour, but it was like that fake suede. Uh, and it was lovely. And I, it was nice to write in. And I was just like, okay, I'll try that. So that was my everyday journal that I'm using. And I wrote my goals in. But this one says noteworthy, and it's the same thing. I think I got these from Walmart, too. It's the same type, but one of my goals is to read more. Um, I tried to start a book club last year, and I didn't read anything. Because life is hard. But if you're a reader and you have books you're reading, tell me them in the comments. I might add them, but this is my noteworthy book that I'm going to be writing. Each, each book that I finish, I'm going to write like a little my thoughts on it and I want to see how much of this I can fill before the end of the year and I think it has like 200 pages something like that I don't know if I'm gonna read 200 books one of my friends does shout out to uh, Katie I don't know if you're watching these videos but she's an English teacher and I love her and she constantly is posting books that she's read on Facebook um, of any age level it doesn't really matter she's just reading them and what her thoughts on them and then ranks them and I think last year she did like over a hundred books it was wild I'm not that adventurous but hopefully I'll have more I have like Atomic Habits picked out I need to finish reading Mexican Gothic which was really good I just didn't have time for it and then one of my co-workers bought me 
a really cool book about gender called Non-Binary. It's a memoir of Genesis Porridge, um, who was one of the first, like, people to transition and was in the punk scene and everything. But he swore that he loved this book, said it up and down that it was really good and he thought that I would appreciate it. So I thought he was gonna let me borrow it. He bought me one. So thank you, Jesse. As a non-binary femme person, I would love this. But all of this very low energy style to say that because part of my new year resolution is to read more and do book related things, I bought yarn that has to do with books. So this is the bookish collection from Dragon Horde Yarns. I'm gonna do what I did last time and take them out already so we don't have to deal with because it sucks. This was a collection that they were like, we're not bringing it back. We brought it back for a hot second on Instagram and then that was that. I'm real excited to unbox it because they're all book themed yarns and they're in colors that I don't normally use, but the idea of making something that's just like cozy to have while I'm reading, it's exciting to me. Um, it's all fingering, so it's probably not gonna be like a blanket or anything, but I think it'd be fun to have like a little wrap or, or shawl or something that I get comfortable and drink coffee and read books with. Let's get into it. As per usual, we are gonna start by looking at the original photo from the website. There are a few different things, because I'm gonna show you the Instagram photo and the photo that I got on the website. Do I made a Grinch set? I wish I knew that. This is the photo off Instagram of what Bookish looks like, and it has, it's pretty true so far from what I can see. It's really, really pretty. Um, lots of like reds and teal-ish colors, but they're not like true teals, they're just like light. Um, there's the little pops of the greens and the blues in there, and it basically goes from like a bright teal down to a, a deep red. So very excited to see that. And then this is the photo that I got off the website, which looks like it's from the same photo shoot. It's just a different angle, um, and it lets you see a little bit more of the yarns, which I was excited for. So we're gonna start from red to teal, because the reds are my, or the teals are my favorite. Also, this was done as a set, so I didn't bother to look and see if these were individual. I don't think they are. I don't have any individual photos of them. This is what we're dealing with and this is what we're going to base it off of because as we've seen in the previous videos that I filmed, anytime I try and find an individual photo, the yarn colors look different than they do in the collection set. So we're going to base it off of this so that it can be as fair as possible. The first one is called Slow Burn, which as a book person, I get that. Well, as a wannabe book person because some books, they're just, they're slow burns. They take a hot minute to get situated and then it actually gets heat up and it's really good. Pause. Send me your favorite slow burn book. I want to see what you guys like to read so that I can go from there. These are all myth fingering, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 230 yards for each 100 grams. That's a lot. Wow. It's slow burn makeup girlies. In the photo, it has a little bit more red to it than it's looking in my lighting right now, but I don't really care. I like it. It's very soft. Um, this one does not have as much of the like black whatever color that this one has in the like in the photo um it's more of just like a deep fiery red not like fire engine red but like fiery red with the black spots of ash and whatnot whereas this looks more of like an orange or like a cyan ish color cyan is not the color i'm thinking of copper i don't know what i'm thinking of but i know it's like not terracotta but terracotta adjacent yeah I don't remember what that's called. Somebody help me or I'll Google editing Ryan, I'll figure it out. Book Nook, which is kitschy and fun. This makeup release has a lot more of this like gray heather-ish tone to it. And still in the red, like you can see the, the progress from these, right? Like you can see how this goes from being brighter to a little more washed out um, and cozy. It still has some stripes of that bright color in there, but then it's just like this lovely, faded, cozy. This this makes me think of like a rainy day in England. Um, Austin loves to play for me because I misophonia and react very well to calming sounds. Whenever I'm trying to take a nap or anything, he goes on YouTube and plays. It's like a European street with cobblestone and you can hear horses and it's raining. This makes me think of that. And I would love that to live in Victorian England, sitting in a corner while it's raining, reading. Life would be so simple. Instead, it's 2024 and I have two jobs. 
what the fuck. Uh, in the photo, a little more red tone than this with the gray tone, but all in all, I, I think they're pretty pretty similar, and I love them. These two next ones, they, they honestly look really similar. Um, it's just one's like a red tone and one's like a teal green tone, so this is where the transition takes place. This is called Bibliophile, which, because I love words, Bibliophile is, you know, the obsession or the supreme interest in reading. Put the Google thing on there. Make me a liar. But Bibliophile. I think this set might be my favorite theme so far, next to the mermaids, because like, this video, A, y'all loved, and thank you so much. If you haven't watched it already, it's in the description, do so. But that one got a lot of traction. People were like, these yarns are gorgeous. I know, that's why I bought them. But this one, close second, Bibliophile, is more whitey gray tones. Like this looks like it has at, like the white smoky ash, a little bit more brown and like deep purple than the blacks. Like if you hold it up next to these, so these are all like the red tones from this set. So this is slow burn, which is like fiery, and then this is just like cozy, and then this is like super washed out and rainy, but in the best way possible. Let's roll over into Page Turner. <laughs> I was hoping it would be called, pa is any of them called Page Master? Are any of them? No, you had a missed opportunity there, Tristan. Just throwing that one out there. See what I mean? This is like the reddish tones, and then this fades into the greenish blue tones, which works because it's transitioning into the next colors, which like will go into the turquoise, but this is so smooth. Like if you flip this around, you can see that there's still some of the reds in here. This one doesn't really have any of the teals, but it has like the whites in it, but they, they work, they match. I, I like this a lot. I would make a whole thing out of that. Well, I don't know how it works out. We'll find out later. I finally started winding things. Um, I basically sat down yesterday and watched like three episodes of TV and was just winding to pass the time because I have so much yarn now and I have to figure out what to do with it. I do think I want to try this this year. We will see how that goes. As Austin politely said, you're going to have a panic attack when it all falls over. And he's probably right, but I want to try it because the internet told me to. Next is Forgotten Library. The only thing I think of with Forgotten Library is like Forgotten Forbidden, the, uh, the Library of Alexandria. Or, or, for my extra nerdy people, that giant library in the desert in Avatar The Last Airbender, that whole library with the giant owl, I would lose my shit if I could spend my time in there. That would be great. I don't even know what I would call this color. It's like emerald, but more blue. Um, that probably doesn't make sense. It has some really s nice greens, but it, it's got like a blue cast to it. So it, like my brain wants to say it's green, but I can see that it's clearly not. It has more blues and stuff. Um, it has this like hunter mossy color going on in it for the splotches instead of blacks, which I think is smart because it reads just more natural. This makes me think if you had like a library outside and you um, took it and just let plants grow all over it. Like it was truly forgotten by time by everybody else. There are just plants everywhere. This one is called Living Fantasy. Look at that. Look at that teal. That's so pretty. It looks like a fantasy skyline or like dragon scales, which I will say Dragon Horde Yarn, obviously she likes dragons is the name of her brand, but she did that whole fourth wing or whatever the name of the book is. Nobody throw anything at me. I haven't read them. I don't know. But she did a whole like dragon release and everybody was losing their mind about it. There was quite a few people that I found on here because they were unboxing those. So yeah, she loves dragons. This looks like dragon scales to me. If we hold them all up compared to the photo, the only thing is it's consistent with um, Dragon Horde yarns is like these are not as pigmented or as saturated as they are in the photo right here. They, they just don't look as bright as that does, but I think that's just the way that she edits her lighting to make it visible. I, I'm really happy with this collection. Mermaid is still my favorite, but this is just, it reads really true. It reads really cozy. Um, Aside from this, this definitely looks more like deep blue purplish in the photo, and it's more like soft blue foresty in, in real life. Which one is your favorite? Tell me. This is really cute though. I love these colors and how they fade in. This is going to make a really comfortable, cozy shawl. I think, I think this is going to be a really nice project. Um, well done, Dragon Horde. I like it. The bookish collection, everybody. What's your favorite? Tell me in the comments. Let's do this beverage. 
This is the regular iced tea. It's the green tea. It's barely visible in the colors. Um, I like to leave the neoprene on because my hands get cold. Cheers. The lemon iced tea is still one of my favorites. It's just like the perfect amount of green tea flavor, the perfect amount of lemon flavor. It just tastes good. Cheers, water drop. Thank you guys for being here. I've gained so many new followers from doing this Vlogmas, even when I'm doing it low energy like this, and I love that you guys are here for that. I love that you have that same energy and just love fun hand-dyed yarns with me. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. It really does help me get everything done, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.